Yo, 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 yo. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to title this video just yet, man, but I'm just going to press record and talk. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone that has checked on me and that continues to check on me ever since. You know, I lost my son a few months back. Um, it being that it's the last day, <laughs> it took me long enough, right? Being that it's the last day of Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. <laughs> um, just to figure the best way to bring awareness to that is to provide you guys some insight on my own situation right you know given recent events um first off definitely want to say shout out to my my dog my brother my trainer lorenzo man because it's because of our last conversation specifically they really got my wheels turning as far as uh, this video specifically and what i think i'm going to be able to articulate man um and mainly from that last conversation it got me thinking about the fact that i really haven't even been thinking about how i'm feeling or how i'm processing things or my mental health at all you know really it's not a language i speak <clears throat> mental health like i've I guess i've always been cool with keeping things together, you know, no matter how severe or sad or whatever, but, you know, definitely diving into some uncharted territory was something as devastating as losing my son. Um, I don't want to dive into the weeds of that, man. I posted a video on it, but my, my second born died a few months ago. And uh, life has been different. And with that, creating content on YouTube, like the luxury I have of doing this at home has provided me the perfect distraction from that, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I've said that before, like this is the perfect distraction I just, I mean, I was always, I've always thrown myself in at 100%, but I'm sure some of you have noticed the amount of content lately that I've been pumping out, like, seems that I'm pumping out more content since what happened happened, and um, I'd imagine it's due to that, because I say it's the perfect distraction um, gets my mind off of things and onto things at the same time. And, you know, specifically with this being Pride Month as well, and there's this, you no know, for all intents and purposes, attack on children, like consciously or even subconsciously, I think that that has put even more of a battery pack in my ass and made me even more passionate about a lot of the content I've been pumping out lately because it's essentially, you know, protecting children and protecting innocence and keeping the harmful shit away. And that shit hits home, regardless of who you are, I'd imagine, but specifically being a parent. But, you know, in regards to me individually and what I've gone through, I... I I'm only thinking about this because it came up in my conversation with my homeboy. You know what I mean? And um, like I've definitely been focused on my thoughts and bringing awareness to what we all need to do as a community to protect children, protect the innocent. But as far as for me specifically, man, like like I think I'm all right, right? But uh, I don't sit here thinking about if I'm all right. Right. Um, like, I think I'm grieving. I don't know what grieving looks like, man. Um, I've been consumed with work and I've been 
consumed with trying to be a rock for my girl, a rock for my family, being oh, being there for my my son. I don't I don't be thinking about how to, how to, this could be affecting me or you know do I need to talk to someone or you know what's really going on. I haven't really sat back and and thought about those things, man. And you know, during my last conversation with my dog is probably something I need to need to consider, right? And I, I, I came to know that because simply just having that conversation with, with bruh, I was able to notice a difference on how I was feeling just talking about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, and it was, you know, it's my dog. I can, I can trust him. I can confide in him. Like, that's been established before. That's that's the homie, bro. He ain't going no one fucking where. But, like, I wasn't even aware that I needed that conversation. He just took it upon himself to, like, you know, ask me some questions. He knows enough about my circumstance. I asked the right questions, got me talking, and then boom. I'm like, oh, damn, I feel – this feels better, right? And then I don't – I don't know if, if my homies even gonna see this video, bro. But I you know I got dogs. I got homies I can confide in, and I don't want to make it seem like I don't want I don't want them to feel like I wasn't able to talk to them about it, man. Because this was nothing I, I was going to be proactive with, right? It took my homie coming to me asking me shit, and then me having an epiphany like, damn, I actually feel good just talking about this, right? Like, not only talking about how I'm feeling, but just talking about, like, the day-to-day and how that's affected me or, or how I'm feeling about certain things. Like, these are things I'm, I'm not even considering through my day-to-day, right? And being aware that things are affecting me by talking about them was uh, beneficial, informative, and healthy for me to know. Right? Not, necess- not saying that this necessarily would have turned into anything negative, but it's definitely a benefit for me realizing that just talking about it made me feel better. And not even to say there was something specifically specifically being talked about with just talking about, you know, how I'm feeling, what my day-to-day looks like. I, I haven't had those conversations, so, um, which makes me know that the shit that has been happening has definitely been affecting me to some extent, and it felt good just talking about it. And uh, it feels it feels weird even talking like that saying like what i've been going through or how i'm feeling man first of all because it's foreign for me to to speak like that because that's not something i typically think about and definitely don't talk about um but then it's like i just been consumed on you know how my girl's gonna bounce back from this trying to be there for her right it's like work and her so from like from from work and from work and from Worrying about her, trying to be there for her, you know, being daddy. I don't really have time to think about how I'm feeling. In addition to the fact that that's something I typically don't do. So just having this conversation with my dog made me realize that, yeah, you probably should be thinking about yourself a little bit, bro. <laughs> be I me, mean? because I, I definitely felt a difference after. I, I felt a difference even talking about it. Like it, it felt like a like a relief a sense of relief just talking about it and it gave me perspective on my situation and um it showed me that talking just talking that's it just talking it helps you know with somebody you fucking trust you know what i mean um so i say all that to say oh i said that just to, to just let y'all know where i am right now i mean I'm, i hope i made sense with this but uh, I'm all over the place. But then I also say that to say, man, like, especially considering it's Men's Mental Awareness Month, Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, even though pride shit has definitely consumed it. And I'm guilty of it, too. I've been so focused on that shit, man. But but check on your homies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Check on your dogs, right? Um, just don't know the power of someone just checking in on you, asking you. How you feeling? You know what I mean? Especially when it's somebody you confide in, you trust. How you feeling, bro? You good? You know what I mean? That that for me, definitely real that definitely made me realize that that shit helps a lot. Um and so I yeah, I, I hope I made sense with that and I will see y'all next time. Peace.